He is the composer in the piece. He's also the narrator. He's sort of inspired by and crafted from Gershwin himself in that sort of meta way, in that his music is part of the story, but it also is telling the story at the same time. He is a former GI who came over to fight in the war, and something that I've sort of imbued in him is that he got injured fairly early on and didn't quite get to serve in the war and in the army as much as maybe he wanted to. You know, when I was doing my research on this character, I watched this Ken Burns piece about World War II. You know, they interviewed a couple of Jewish Americans who served in the war. I think he felt some sort of responsibility to serve Jews in particular. I think Adam fears uh, inauthenticity the most. I think I like his realness the most. And I'm giving it to you straight. Take it or leave it. He is putting all of that feeling into his music, but there's something missing and it's not until the end when he realizes that it's her. Yeah, the fact of having her in his life to inspire his music is what he ultimately finds to be the, his goal. He thinks he wants love, but I think what he actually wants is to send love out into the world. Because he realizes that it's not just dark, that it does because we're living in a dark world doesn't mean his heart needs to be dark. <laughs>